Hi guys, it's uh, Portos here. I um, just wanted to give you an update on the Portos plant news. Dun, 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 dun. Um, first of all, we have we have this plant. This plant is my pride and joy. This is baby tree. If we look up a bit. Now, baby tree was planted early this year um, as a conker, and um, these are the two leaves it, um, it only had from up to here for quite some time and now recently these little bits, well these little bits popped up a, quite a while ago these bits here and then recently they've they kind of burst out in a cocoon kind of like way they're like fully fully formed but kind of like they've emerged like a kind of butterfly these little baby leaves here and um, I can't I can't wait to for this tree to become uh, as awesome as it can potentially be. So I'm um, trying to get this to focus. Trying to focus on the outside. Yeah, so I, I, I only live on the uh, the top floor, so any background stuff you can see is my neighbours. Over here, we see um, my tomato plant, if we can focus. Um, no tomatoes yet. Um, now these grew in, in crowded, crowded pots and I had to kind of cut them down and they kind of grew again um, so they weren't loving being crowded but now they're separate they're kind of quite good and they've stopped trying to reach for the sky so they've kind of accepted the height maybe they were fighting each other trying to trying to out reach each other but now that they're in separate pots I've got two of them now separated pots and just flowers up here up here flowers are starting to form so hopefully they'll become tomatoes. Um, for pride and joy, this lovely pepper plant. It's uh, it's quite big. It's almost as big as baby tree. It's um, it's just starting to get like it's starting to get actual fruits growing. So I should probably like pull down this so you can see it. For now, but yeah, it's starting to get fruits growing. And um, now, what happened was because this is an inside plant, um, some of the flowers just fell off. That the, the whole, the whole fruit and the flower and the, and the stem, everything they fell off. So these bit, these entire bits here, just fell off. And the reason being was um, they weren't getting fertilized. So I actually had to come along with a Q-tip and or an earbud, whatever it is, and and put it in here and and then fertilize it. You might as, I don't know if you can see like some of the pollen drop in there. Now it can kind of it can kind of self fertilize the plants, but you do that and then you find another one and you do it to that one, and um, that's how you pull it out. And then once that happens. Just the petals fall off, leaving the stalk, and it ends up. And this bit here stays. This little, uh, the centre part stays, and that kind of goes black after a while, like this, and becomes, uh, yeah. So I'm looking forward to like lots of uh, getting lots of fruit. But I've, I've got to like help it by pollinating it. It's kind of cool. Um, some of the seeds that we've got. Um, some of the seeds from. So this is this plant here is the baby of this one over here. So this one over here was the uh, the, the adult of it, or the, or the father, or the mother. And this one had the um, we got a, a fruit from this one last last year and planted those, and so that's uh, that's the offspring. And recently we've um, planted a load more. Loads of little tiny ones. Got this one, these guys, lots of little guys. Little guys here. These are mostly these are all pepper plants, and some of them are hot, and some of them are um, sweet pepper, sweet bell peppers. This is the other tomato plant. Same kind of situation. Just a uh, flower starting to form up here, but. Um, More 
Now here, this is a garlic clove planted in here. That's what this is, and that kind of reaches up. And I've let it kind of hang over here. But it hangs over the, um, the tomato plant, and I haven't got any aphids. There's no aphids at all. You occasionally get a few flies, tiny little flies, but um, they don't really, they don't like the smell of the garlic, so the garlic helps to keep um, plant-eated insects away. It's really good. Um, this is a small offcut of a basil plant, a bigger one which I've kind of aggressively trimmed uh, over over here. This is the uh, the main basil plant. Basil loves water. You pretty much can't feed basil. Oh, look, there's some more peppers down here. Um, but the basil, you can't feed it enough. Um, so yeah, put the water in here. Like it really want, it, this even wants to be repotted. Roots are coming out the bottom here. But you put the water in here rather than here, so you don't get splash up. And the splash up will uh, make the leaves go bad. Um, I mean, yeah, I haven't. I, I kind of forgot to water it a bit, but but yeah, it's kind of a. And over here, look at this. Look at this rainbow chart. I've only really got two colours. Got this kind of like greeny, lighter colour, and then uh, the red ones here. I've already harvested this once. Delicious, absolute delicious. Really, really lovely. Got a couple of offcuts from tomatoes here. This week, kind of cut the tops off the tomatoes to stop them growing because I was going a bit crazy. We just put, we just put them in water. They got roots, and I could I felt so sorry that I had to plant them. Um, this is the top of the pepper plant. If you do get a pepper plant. If you do get a pepper plant, you, you're gonna want to like cut it down above the first six leaves as, as soon as it's uh, got tall enough, and it will like it will split up, and you'll get more fruit in the end. It's it's kind of curving over because <laughs> if I think I, I it got knocked the pot got knocked over, and in one night it kind of curved to kind of stand up straight, so I just stood up again. But yeah, that's pretty much, um, oh over here, over here is like the wild, wild garden, so anyway, I'll just let anything grow here. I don't pl haven't planted anything, apart from maybe that one at the end, but everything else is wild, to kind of let it kind of like, just to see what happens really. Interesting. I'll water that as well. But yeah. And there's this little dude here as well. He's, uh, he's a little cactus pot. He's he's had a hard life. He's been dropped a few times, but he's uh he's um got some courage. He's he's, he's been brave. 